Hey guys, it's the Better Productions, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Ethereal Gates. In the last episode, we went through the lighthouse and skipped that Pokeball glitch, and we went into the library, very scary library, with a ghost and a Jinkai in there. And we caught the Jinkai, and yeah, saved the little girl, and now we can move on. So yeah, in this episode, we're going on Route 4. But before we get started, I'd like to tell you I got another team member. I got Barkush on my team. Somebody mentioned that I should use this in episode 5, I think it was. And yeah, I bought, I got it up to level 18. Yeah, it was quite a pain, because all it had was Bubble and Vice Grip. And based on its attack stats, it's not real good. I mean, the special attack's good, but the physical attack wasn't. So I was relying on Vice Grip since Bubble was a very, very weak move. I mean, look at this, 40 power, then this is 55 power. But then at level 14, I learned Bubble Beam, and then training got a lot easier. But it took a while at first, but... Yeah, we're all good. So, in this episode, we are going to Route 4. Let's talk to you. Route 4 is really fun, but long route. Hopefully you stocked up on items. Oh, I didn't stock up on items. Well, let's see what we got so far. Um, we have five Freshwaters, two Soda Pops, two Super Potions. We're, I think we're set. And we have five Antidotes. I'm, we could get some Paralyzed Heals. Eh, nah. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this theme sounds so cool. Route 4, it goes to Avocet City. Cool. Okay, let's go. We got a trainer right here. Let's try out our new Pokemon. I can see into the future and you will lose. What, are you a psychic? No, you're not. You're a backpacker. Yeah. Yeah, I know who you are. And you got an ER, which, by the way, that is the official definition of that Pokemon. Uh, not definition, pronunciation of that Pokemon. It came out from the devs. I was correct right from the start. That was sweet. Okay, anyways, let's go. Bubble Beam right now. Okay, it's going to go for Charm. That does not affect us at all since Bubble Beam is a special attacking move. Come on, do a ton of damage. Okay, a little bit. Less than half, but that's okay. Echo Voice, see how much this does right here. Mm, eight damage, not too much. And plus, we're like only one level higher. Dang, this is crazy. Even when I trained all my Pokemon up to level 18, I was thinking, ah, oh, they won't be that high level. It's already level 17, gosh darn it! I'm getting a little nervous. Okay. So, let's put Humber up top now, because we didn't quite get that much spotlight with him. And, yeah, let's see what's on this route here. Wild counter, let's go. In... Ode? In Ododode? What's it? In o -O -O I don't know. But let's try to catch this thing. Is it a normal type? I'm pretty sure it's not. It's not, because I just used Lick and it was effective. Oh, I got a paralysis! Oh, it's headbutt. Okay, come on. No crit. No crit. Thank you. And paralysis hacks. I like it so far. And that'd be nice if we can get in one Pokeball. That'd be nice. Come on, let's go! Please stay in one Pokeball. One, two, three, yes! This this episode's starting out real well, just, really well. So, anyways, if be sure to hit a, hit that like button if you enjoy, because yeah, if we hit 15 likes, another one will be posted today. So, Odoed, it's results from several proteins using a hollow geode as, as a home, nearly functioning as a cell. This almost works as a skillful simulation of life and fools many people. Want to give a nickname? No. But it's transferred to our PC. And okay, let's see what else is here. Or there's more of these. Come on, give me something else here. Okay. You know what? Let's show off the honey, because we can actually use a honey here. I don't know, maybe that can find an exclusive Pokemon we don't know of. That'd be cool. We have 44 of them! Oh my gosh! But let's see what we got. Come on, give me something different. Ooh, what is that? Dimmials? Dimals? What is that? Looks like its sprite was not completed. Unless, unless that's what it really looks like. It's just the angle of the sprite, I'm not too sure. It looks kind of weird. All right, well, let's catch it, see what, what this thing is. One, two, three, yes! So far, we've been catching all the Pokemon in one Pokeball. 
It is a ground type. They scurry about, searching for soft ground enough to burrow in their burrows, help them shield from the hot sun in summer months, and cold in the winter. Okay. So there's a pure ground type right there. That's pretty cool. Is there anything else here? Um, I don't know which way is the right way. Because I kind of want to go the wrong way so I can get to a dead end. That looks like the right way. But, yeah, we'll just go down and see what's there. Oh, there's an item right here. Hey, good. We went the right way. Oh, we got a burn heal. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's go. Wild trainer. Wild trainer? What? Okay. <laughs> I know there's all to know about Pokemon battles. Sure you do. All right, let's go. We got student Catherine. Or I can, dis I can disrespect her by mispronouncing her name. Katherine! Yes. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay, so Intimidate cuts our attack. No big deal. Let's go for a proud swivel. And we miss. Just my luck. Just my luck. Aw, oh, you boost your, your attack. Okay, we're going to switch. Uh, let's go to Mostyn. Because he is our tank of a Pokemon here. I know technically this is a fire type. And I could have brought out, uh, what's its name, um, Barkosh, but still. I know Most in here is going to do some work, so let's go. Plus he needs some action too. There we go, roll out, take it down, let's go. Okay, nope, but it will take it down next turn. There we go. There you go, Mostyn. Now we got that rollout combo, so now if we keep this thing in, it's going to kill every single Pokemon now. Oh, um... Well, if we have times four on rollout, we should take this thing out now. Oh, Sand Attack! No! Okay, if we miss, we'll just go for Absorb. Okay, no, we didn't. Oh, it lives! Oh, come on! Trapped by Sand Tomb. Okay, but at least we take down uh, this Pokemon right here. I think our rollouts are over. So now it's time for an Odoed. Hmm. Let's go... Not Humber, Barkosh. Let's go, Barkosh. This is the right Pokemon to do some work. Bubble Beam! Super effective. Do not take it down. Wow. Must have quite a bit of special defense then. Okay, so Bubble Beam again. And there goes the Odoed. Knowledge and experience are two different things. Okay, let's see what we got here in the wild grass. Give me something more. Okay, we got an Odoed. Or an Udoed. Maybe it's Udoed. I don't know. We'll figure... I don't know. We'll find out sooner or later. In terms of pronunciation. I think I should... Sh I should go and heal. Just because of the fact that... Well... Here's the thing. I don't want to use my potions when I'm literally... Like... Literally right here. Because, I mean, really... It's not worth it. We're just right next to the town. So, you know what? I'll be right back after I heal up. Alright, I'm back. Now... One thing I hope is that there are, like, healer trainers in this game, because, yeah, that would be very helpful if they had that. But let's see, is there anything else in the grass? Doesn't look like it. We got those two Pokemon. Unless there's something else that's rare, I may come back and see what else is in here. Just because we're not... I don't know, we might come across more. But let's see what you got to say. What's cooler than cool? Pokemon battles! Alright, let's go. We got Cool Trainer Lou. Lou Ferrigno! No, I'm kidding. Alright. Now it's time for a few gruff right here. I'm definitely not going to go for the Proud Swivel, because that would definitely not be good. Unless they can find this Pokemon here. Maybe it's a rare Pokemon. That would be cool if it was here. They okay, Covet. Okay, it does about half. Ember, so much it does. It's a Humber. Oh, wow. That did quite a bit. Okay. And we take down Fugroff. And now it's time for another one. Well, let's go to Park Barkosh here. Let's 
So, okay, level 16 though. Man, all these levels are so high! Gosh! I'm starting to think I'm gonna be under leveled for this next gym fight. So I know it's coming up in the next city. I mean, it's a city. Usually there's gyms in cities. So, it's... I don't know, I'm gonna be in trouble, I think. I may have to do some training at, when we get to the city. Oh, bug trainer. Perfect, that'll give us a reason to use Polby and Arceline. So, yeah. Let's see. Let's talk to you. Bug type is the superior Pokemon type. Aha, no! That's like the weakest type. Whatever, that's your opinion. So now it's Hojikun! Well, let's go to Polby, our own bug type. I know I kind of dissed Polby there, but it's true though. Technically, bug types are not generally that strong. I mean, the only exception that I can think of is definitely Scyther and uh, Scizor. Wait, what, what Pokemon's coming out? I didn't see, but whatever. Oh, it's a Polby. Okay. But yeah, other than that, all the po regular Pokemon that are bug types are not really that great. Well, I guess. Heracross, that's a good, that's an exception, and maybe Pinsir, I mean, he's not, I'm not usually a big fan of using Pinsir, but I, he does have a good attack stat, I mean, his, the, uh, Mega Evolution pick, uh, Pinsir's pretty good, same thing with Heracross, though, so I, I like Heracross more than Pinsir, but let's see, ah, stop missing, I hate Sand Attack with a Burning Passion, No! Polby! Gosh! You know what I like about competitive battling? There are no- There are rules against evasion- Like, yeah, evasion claws. Yeah, so you can't use these type of moves, even though I don't really do competitive battling much. That's one thing I like about that! Hey, hit! Thank you! Ugh. Dang, Polby. And now it's time for Mostyn. Oh. I really have nothing. Let's go Arsline just for the heck of it. I know Arsline can do the can do the job here. I know it's rock type, so it can actually hurt Arsline. But whatever. Oh, Mostyn's only level 14, okay. Let's Ember. That's the lowest stat. I mean his defense and special defense are pretty high. But his special defense is lower, so yeah, we're gonna go with that. Okay, it should have rollout by then. Oh come on, a crit! What is this? All right, and now Magona, Magona. This is the Pokemon I said was unbearable. If you guys remember that. Oh man, I'm gonna go for an Ember. Boom! Still unbearable, I'd have to say. But we're supposed to be superior! Yeah, you're yeah, superior, alright. Okay, well. Is there anything over here? Oh, well, Wild Encounters, that's for sure. Oh! <gasps> Yay! Here it is! Fugruff! I said there might be there might be a Fugruff here, and there is! Okay. Uh, let's see. What could we do? I could paralyze it. We could try to do that. It kind of, oh crap, I didn't mean to hit tackle. Ah, uh, Bulby, I think you're gonna die. Oh no, you're fine. Okay, I can try to get a stun spore off here. Miss! Bulby! Okay, order sleuth. I can take that. I'll, I'll, that's fine. Bulby! Okay, Bulby. Do you want to die? Do you want to die? I knew you didn't. Okay. No crit. Thank you. Wow. At least we got ourselves a burn heal. We got one earlier. So we're good. Um, I don't know how to weaken this thing though. Oh boy. gonna howl whatever looks like it only has ember let's go for a lick is it part okay no it's just a pure fire okay okay it's at a good range let's catch it come on 
First ball. I call it right now. First ball. One. Two. Of course not. Alright, well. Ember. Um, uh, let's throw a great ball. Might as well give this guy a little bit of respect, since Fugruff is definitely a good fire type. If I did not have K Kitorch as my starter, WHAT?! Oh, that burned so much in the inside. And, it, and that was not really trying to be a pun, because even though this is a fire type... Okay, now we all we have are Pokeballs. Come on, catch! No, yeah, stay in the ball! One... Two, three, okay. Wow, okay. I forgot to read its bio. Dang it, okay. Well, let's look at the Pokedex then. So, okay. It is the Intimidate Pokemon, fi pure fire type, two foot four inches, thirty-two point two pounds. It is extremely wary of of all that uh, that crosses its path. However, beneath its growling and barking is a warm fury and not and something heart. I can't tell or loyal heart maybe that's what it is. So let's see, what are the other Pokemon we caught right here? Um, it's a Badger Pokemon, two foot four inches, thirty-one point one pounds. It scurries about. Oh, we already know that. Okay, we already read that. And what were the stats of the other Pokemon we caught? Um, Odol or Oodol or something like that. Come on, where is it? Oh, there he is. Oodol. It is the Geode Pokemon, one foot four inches, forty-one pounds. Okay. Let's heal up our Pokemon. Um, yeah, we got our Burn Heal. So we'll use that. And we'll use our super potions. There we go. Is there anything over here? Okay. Another one of these guys. I'm not necessarily too worried. I may I may just take it out for experience. Cause it is just pure ground type. What can it do? Oh, bite, okay. If we can get Poby up to level 19, that'd be cool. I'm wondering when Poby evolves, though. It has to be soon. Because somebody said that Poby is definitely a good Pokemon. Oh, hidden item. I knew it. I just kn I knew it. And I saw no item here while I was running up. It had to be a hidden item. So, let's see. It has to evolve soon. I mean... Somebody said it was a great Pokemon. Unless it's, like, way beyond and people are just grinding to see what Poby turns into. I'm just not sure. Hopefully it's soon. But yeah, so someone told me in my gym leader uh, episode of Regina recently that even though this gym was bad uh, for uh, way back in Longspur City, the next city, their gym leader is even worse. I'm thinking, oh boy, this could, this can't be good. I don't remember if they told me what type it was, and if they did, I just don't remember. But uh I'm, I like this so far. The gym leaders are tough, and I've been seeing so many let's plays out that are that have all that are basically are fighting these gyms and they're struggling. It's like it's not like everyone's getting an easy stroll through here. Everyone's having problems with these gyms, and I'm not the only one. Although I, I was the only one that struggled with that rival battle, stupid growl spam. But anyways, yeah, I mean, it's pretty. They did a great job with the gym leaders. They, I know that they made them tough. They made them the most, they, can, they made them the jerkiest gym leaders in the world. Which I don't know about the second gym leader yet, but I know the first one was for sure. That was, oh man, it was, oh my gosh. I can't, I mean I could have beaten Regina a little bit better if I was able to, you know, land my moves with bearable, but still. It was pretty darn hard. Alright, so let's see what's over here. I have a team of different kinds of Pokemon, so we can't lose. So, you got Collector Chuck. He has a Magnot. Okay. Looks like Poby might get a level up after all. Because I'm going to have to switch him out. Or switch her out. Into Arceline! Oh, wait. I just called. 
Or, I mean, ran away. Did not mean to do that. Alright, well, we raised our accuracy even though I was switching out. Well, now, Arsaline. I wonder what Arsaline evolves into in its final form. It's gotta be cool. Okay, hey, Vice Grip really didn't do that much. Ember should take this Magnut down. Okay, there we go. And what else does this guy have? Squeaker. Yeah, let's keep Arsaline in for this. And we'll use Ember. We almost took it down. Let's see. Ember. Take down that squeaker. Okay, good. And Suzumi. Okay. This was a good job for Arsaline. Okay, that priority move there. I'm fine with that. Aw, oh, lives with a sliver of health. But at least he didn't go for quick attack again. Arsaline level 19, trying to learn bite. Okay. Get rid of scratch. There we go. I like it. Type diversity isn't all it's cracked up to be, huh? Nope. Guess not. <laughs> Alright, let's heal. With our fresh waters. And... Let's put Mawson up top, see if he can get a level up. Oh, it's a hiker! Feel the wrath of my rock Pokemon! Alright, he's probably gonna have a Mawson of some sort. Yep. So it's gonna be my Mawson versus his Mawson! Let's go! Let's go. Absorb. Oh, it's just gonna be an absorb fight. Oh boy. This could take a while. I thought it was gonna be a little more exciting than this, but okay. This is not fun. <laughs> I mean, what else do I have? I don't have anything that's super effective against him. What I could do is just start a rollout combo. Yeah. Okay, block, so now I can't escape. Oh no, I'm scared. Okay, roll out. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah, roll out combos definitely work here. Oh, we miss! Dang it! Don't absorb to a point where I have to use another absorb to take you down. That would stink. Don't do that. Absorb, please take it down. Take it down, take it down, take it down. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. No! Wait, did it? Oh yeah, it did. Okay, thank goodness. I was about to say. Okay, now it's time for... Okay, fine. Boston, you stay in. And absorb away at this guy. Leech the life out of him. That did nothing. Uh, this was definitely not a good idea. Let's go for rollout. I miss. It's 90 accuracy. How can I miss two times in a row with that? How? Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. No! Why would you harden? Great, now you're gonna live. Oh no, you didn't. Okay. That was my third loss today. Well, you suck. So, yeah. Was that from uh, April and August? Probably. So we're not too far behind them. Okay. Yeah, let's keep Mawson up. So much tall grass. I wonder how many different Pokemon live here. A lot. I don't know. And here's a place. Let's see. Can we heal here? You need something to become fixed? Oh, okay. So it's like a healing house. Perfect. What's over here? The mountainous train, it's beautiful. I wish I had lived in northern Lenico where the real mountains are. Trainer tips. If any Pokemon takes part in battle, however briefly, ex uh, gains experience. Okay, well, whatever. We knew that. So 
so let's head down this way to the point of no return. No, I'm kidding. There is a return. Okay, so it looks like we got another trainer here. Yeah, let's just keep him Austin. It's a backpacker. Let's see what she got. It's crazy how, how Pokemon are so cute and strong at the same time. Let's see what you got, Natalie. You got a Fugruff. Okay, that's actually a good matchup. I like it. Mostin, roll out combos, baby. Oh, wait, intimidate. That hurts. Um. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to rock. Okay. Uh, I'm, I didn't try to do that, but okay, accuracy rose. I'm trying to not break the game, but still. It's like, oh, that helps. So now my accuracy is higher. We should be okay. Watch, we're still gonna miss. Just my luck. Okay. It's gonna howl. Fine. Just do that. Whatever. You're, gonna, you're just gonna die. Okay, there we go, Mostin. Good, good girl. <laughs> Let's go. Rock Blast! Yes! Okay. It's not very accurate. It's 90 power. But, I don't mind it. I kind of... Do I want Harden? No, I really don't use Harden. I mean, it, could I use that to combo with Rollout? I'm not too sure. But, okay, Albaloo. Uh, okay, Rollout. It's definitely going to take it out. And that is game! All right, well, at least they're still cute. Let's see, is there anything else over here? Okay, it looks like we get access to a couple items here. So let's get this item first, because we're right there. It's a super potion. Okay, and it looks like we have to run through wild grass if we get this item. So let's see what it is. Is it worth it? A great ball. Okay, I could say that's worth it. So let's see, is there any other Pokemon in here? Well, I guess we didn't need to find out, because yeah, we didn't run across any Pokemon. Is there an item here? Oh, an Everstone. Okay. When you see stuff like this, you kind of expect if there's an Everstone or, or something. Hidden item of some sort. Everstone just prevents a Pokemon from evolving. So, yeah. Up ahead is Aphesus City, the bustling town of Lumberjacks. It's, it's a lively town considering it's built within a forest. Really? Whoa. Okay. Cool. I like the look of this place. I like the I like the town music. I say let's heal up, explore the town, and then we'll end off the episode. When they said it was gonna be a long route, I was thinking maybe it might be two episodes, but I guess not. Hi there. Oh, you got your bags under your eyes. I know what this is more I can do. Oh, we got rest. TM rest. Okay, cool. Sounds like a good trade in my book. I don't know what he wanted, but whatever. And... What do you want? All types of Pokemon have strength and weakness, depending on those, given our battles are easy or not. Okay. So, let's check out the PC here. And what we're going to do is look at the new Pokemon we caught. So, so um, this Pokemon has solid rock as its ability. Its, its main point is its special defense, it looks like, and its attack stat. Looks like its defense is pretty bad. But, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I like the idea of this thing. Okay, so let's see what this thing has. Mostly just a physical attacker and speed. And it prevents a foe from fleeing. Okay, cool. And Fugruff looks like it's just a... It looks like a mixed attacker with speed, but not very bulky. Oh, well, actually, it is pretty bulky. It's all around, all around pretty good. I don't know. If I didn't have a Kid Torch, I would definitely use that on my team. Just saying. But, did we heal up? I don't think we did. Oh, I think we did. Okay, whatever. So, we got another honey from Humber. So, we're back to 44 honeys. Yikes. Okay, so let's explore the town. It's amazing how this town was built around the trees instead of just knocking them down. I have a lot of respect for the civil engineers that are responsible for this beautiful city. I agree. Oh, look, there's a few gruff right here. All my Pokemon love me so much. You got an Avenge and a few gruff. My granddaughter is very in tune with her Pokemon. She, they take, they uh, take care of her well. Okay. Let's see what else is here. Let's go into this house. Let's see if there's anything special in here. Both my husband and daughter are in the elite four of this region. One can say that Pokemon training runs in the family. You seem like a strong trainer. Maybe one day you'll you'll meet me. So, anyways, yeah. Here's the gym. What the? Excuse me. You look like a strong kid. Can you possibly help me out? Please come with me. 
Whoa, what's going on here? Are you the gym leader? No, it doesn't look like it. We're cutting a tree down earlier. We lumberjacks tend to do that and we fell down right in the front of the entrance of the forest. I hope it's not too much to ask if you can get the missing machine part we need from the me mechanic who lives down in Route 4. Really? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, well. Okay. Um. I guess we have to go back to Route 4 and get that. Our, okay, chop, chop, shopping's everywhere. I used to be a model. I doubt that. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting best. I'm getting paid for this extra time. Gotta put food on the table. Alright. So sometimes I go into the forest to spend some time with my boyfriend. Don't tell my mom, though. Whoa, man. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit of an issue. You know, you need to... Uh oh uh, I don't know what you're doing in there, but please. Be mature. Anyways. Far away, there's a place called Pokemon League where there's trainers frighteningly skilled. Okay. The rules follow as follow. You have to beat the gym leader all in a row. If you lose, you have to start over. Yikes. It's not really that bad. Well, I bet it is in this game, though. Okay, let's see. Hi there, I'm the manager of the berry shop. And we got a citrus berry. I mean, my niece is taking over the berry business. This store switched managers over over the time this town switched gym leaders. Oh, so the gym leader recently was different? Okay, cool. What's this item? We got ourselves a lemonade or a lemonade. The artificial beehives. We live... We have them because the pole bee population is dwindling. We need to save them. Get the hashtag save the pole bee trending. What if I showed him I have a pole bee? He should give me something. He'd be like, no, give me your pole bee. I'm like, no. The air here in Absent City is so clear. It's because we're surrounded by so many trees. Okay, that's probably true. Let's see what you got to say. We're two lumberjacks live together. We, they should make a sitcom about us. Hey, bud, I'm on my lunch break. Scram, I enjoy my sandwich. Alright. I just had a sandwich for lunch. Just to let you guys know that, even though it really doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. So, let's see what's behind here. We got a Pokemart, and we got this right here. And... What else is there? Can we even go in the gym? Hey there, champ. Ready for your second gym battle? Let me get you some advice. Beckett, so you make sure you have fire flying type to be sure you have the upper hand. I do have both. And we got fresh water. Whoa, is the gym theme different? I think it is. That's cool. Kind of reminds me of Smash Brothers a little bit, how they use those instruments. But anyways, yeah, we're not going to be taking on the gym this episode, gosh darn it. We're going to be going back to Route 4 next episode, getting that, uh, that tool from the mechanic, and bring it back, and yeah, we're going to... See what's through that forest, maybe. Because I don't want to face the gym quite yet, because I think I'm going to be underleveled. Based on all the trainers that we had down at, in Route 4, we were basically on par with them. Which means the gym leader has to be significantly higher, because that's what it was like before the first gym. So, okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed. 15 likes. Another episode will be up later today. See you guys later.